In last round, Don Greenwood Jr. emerged with his second straight race win, making the championship standings all but certain. Can Don Jr. make it three in a row? Find out next. You are watching the RRL RC Car Backyard Racing League. RC Nation, welcome to round five of the two-wheel drive Mod Short Course Backyard Racing League. I'm Cam Cullen, joined by my co-host John Bonzo Riccardi. First, let's hear from our series points leader. Now, I started racing in the 90s when all tracks looked like this, you know, loose dirt, very rough, real raw conditions. So it kind of brings me back to where I started from. You know, I do miss proper off-road. I feel like today's tracks are very manicured and perfect. The new chassis reflect that so some of the newer cars don't work well in these older conditions so luckily for me I do have older cars that were designed back when tracks were looser it's not too bumpy it's just dry there's some loose spots there's some hard pack parts so it's a little bit of a mixed condition but it's totally drivable you just gotta keep your steady pace and throttle adapt and win the a main hobby starting grid has been now adapting well so far through qualifying he'll start in TQ position and Darren Greenwood will make his main event debut this afternoon here we go from Red Hawk Raceway. It's a clean start for all five trucks. Oh, brother of Darren, Don Greenwood Jr. took the back straight sweeper a little too wide, and young Braden Bonchi is there to take over third. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on your screen to shop amainhobbies.com, your RC off-road headquarters. Free shipping on eligible orders. It's now time I bring in local legendary RC hobbyist and race director from Crispy Critters Raceway in Fairfield, New Jersey, John Bonzo Riccardi. Thank you for having me on, Cam. Oh, right off the bat, there's carnage. Yeah, maybe a little nerves for Darren Greenwood as he took advantage of Brent Post's catastrophic mechanical failure in the late stages of the B-Main. He lost his front left shock screw. Uh, Captain Jack at the point, as always, tight to the pipe making these turns. Greenwood Jr. trying to heat up Banam as they're through the technical section. This Team Losi and Associated Battle. Oh, some bumping and grinding coming through the turns. Ah, oh, they're all trying to pass it the line. There I go in the orange truck with a great run on the outside, overtaking one and two there. John, I have to know, how did you get the Bonzo nickname? I used to be in a motorcycle club. I used to play drums. My name is John. He named me after Mr. Bonzo Bonham from Led Zeppelin. That's where the nickname came from, my friend. Rock on, Bonzo. Greenwood Jr. overtook me for first. He's been smooth as glass these past two rounds. You're a Losi guy. What do you have to say about the TOR trucks? I'll tell you, associated me at the edge in the two-wheel drive. A lot of work to keep it dialed. TLR, short course, two-wheel drive, four-wheel. We got you all day long now. One race remains to crown our next backyard champion. We can have a race, but we cannot have a sport without fans like you supporting us from the workbench to the crapper. With defending series champ Brent Post not making the A-Main today, he's officially out of the title hunt for the first time in his illustrious backyard racing career. Count him five SCT titles to his name since 2010. That's most all time. I mean, deep down, he's got to be beside himself. Brent, usually one of his best classes running short, of course. I don't know what's going on with him. Anyways, here's the leaders down the front straight. Trying to, oh, Cam gets by him. He hits the pipe, Cam, right on by. No question, the slap landing will be a determining factor here. Hey, Bonzo, what kind of music you listen to at the track? I'm a heavy metal guy, man. 80s, 90s, 2000s, all heavy metal. I listen to fast, aggressive music. It keeps me pumped. Greenwood Jr. can use some screamo music to wake him up right about now as Jack Benam takes over position. What is it about race directing that you love? I like keeping the excitement. I like keeping it moving. Times you go to tracks and it's kind of boring. Know where you're at. Get these guys pumped. Make them a little nervous. Keep them on their toes out there. I mean, if you're just calling a race and it's boring, it's a for a boring day. You keep people excited and engaged. Engagement keeps the hobby alive, my friend. Oh, here's Greenwood Jr. in a world of trouble in turn four. Jack moving up now to that two spot. It's going to help him out big time. Bonzo, you've called a bunch of races over the years. What is one of your most favorite stories? Last season, we had seven drivers on the stand. We had six cars in the race. And for about a minute, I said, wait a minute. How do I have seven drivers and I have six cars and I kept yelling somebody's not out there well the car broke they pulled it off the track and he thought he was still driving it for well over a minute and we all just died laughing because he was chasing a ghost out there <laughs> that is some club track racing gold 
Braden Bocci in the traction slash, running in fifth. He'll need to find about half a track to catch back up to fourth place. That's Darren Greenwood. There I go, passing the youngster. Oh, and look out, some bad luck for Darren Greenwood. He'll need a marshal. That'll help Braden in fifth. Tire choice, very important this afternoon. I'm running the Pro-Line hole shots. So, Bonzo, what is one word you'd use to describe your club track, Crispy Critters? Family is the one word that I could describe it. Shout out to my local track, Critters. We got Richie and Al. We own the shop. The only dirt indoor 10 scale track left in the state of New Jersey. We're running Tuesday nights. We run Friday nights and trophy races on the weekend. Hope to see you guys out of Critters. If you're interested in learning more about Crispy Critters, check out the link in the description. Meanwhile, Jack Benam has started in TQ position, but he's been hanging out to second place for some time now. Greenwood Jr. knocking out the door. Oh, and they bump! A little bumping and grinding in short course, and there you have it. No harm, no foul. We're here at crunch time. Heart rate is up. Pressure is on. Greenwood Jr. down the front straight. Keeps it clean. Let's go back to the overtake. Oh, taking him real wide around that turn. Oh, that's what happened. He went a little too wide. Took him right on the inside. you got to have a really solid control on that trigger finger out there, especially with a two-wheel drive. This last minute is presented by A-Main Hobbies, your number one trusted source for all your RC racing needs. On your screen now is the fight for second. I'm about to lap everybody, and with a win today, I would essentially be in a three-way tie for first. For Greenwood Jr. and Benam, if you know how to cheat, now's the time to do it. Uh, they're coming over the line right now. Oh, he gets it wrong. It's going to help Jack out a little bit. He's right on his bumper. Oh, he makes the pass. Oh, big time he took the pass on him. Oh, and a problem for me in the technical section. Uh-oh. Here's Greenwood Jr. with a lot of steam. Bumps him again. Oh, nobody wants that second spot. It's Greenwood Jr. down the back straight. Let's Captain America back in number three spot right now. Oh, Cam is out. Oh, he had the win. This will be a race to the line, and it's going to be Greenwood Jr., your A-main winner. The heart of a champion. You just can't put him away. Oh, poor Cam. This is going to be way up there on the list of backyard RC racing disappointments. As we wait for Darren Greenwood to finish up, my battery falls out. I realize I did not put in the second battery strap nut in what's been the longest lap of my life. Don, he held on, man. Jack couldn't hold him when he finally got that lead. Cam, Cam had the win. Great race by everybody in this one. It's not just the win at any RL track. It's a win at this track, which has been giving me problems. I was actually really worried about this track. Before I go any further though, I mean that was really a blessing. I committed to running between second and third in that battle. Cam really had nearly a lap on us. More than I am happy for the win, I'm actually a little gutted for him because I really wanted to see that shake up the standings. So lucky to have my brother working on the truck. I'm happy where it is now and I just got to keep it going. I'm happy that we're ending there because I do like that track a lot. I think that track favors me. Everyone here at RL, especially Cam, he puts in so much work to keep this running, keep the turnout as good as possible, get the videos up. I can't say enough about it his efforts for everything. Well, I'd like to start out by thanking Brent Post uh, for a mechanical failure that allowed me to pass him in the B main and take the uh, victory there to bump up to the A. It feels good running the A main with the fast guys, you know, watching them go around me. This track was good uh, for the short course trucks. I had a little trouble with the buggy. It was disappointing, but uh, now I know how my parents felt my whole life. We did a lot of work to Don's truck, which I always do. That's kind of my victory, his victories. My built trucks are running first place. They just need better drivers, I guess. I mean, it wasn't working for them for the first half of the summer. We adjusted the weight balance, and then we adjusted the shocks and the toe angles, and it seems to have improved his times and handling capabilities tremendously. Want to get there? Hit the B main. Where I end up is where I end up. It's all about having fun, and tell you the truth, I'm probably beating everybody in that field. Well, I want to thank my sponsors. And that's about it, okay? And a uh, shout out to my brother, you know, for always putting up with my nonsense throughout the years. It's been a grueling six months, but we've narrowed it down to just two racers to decide the championship. Dark Horse Don Greenwood Jr. and Captain America Jack Benam. It's Greenwood Jr. with the advantage heading into the finale, but Bonzo, what do you have to say about the bottom pack? Nick, let's go. Kelsey, another one. Another good, good guys I've raced with. You guys got to get out there, get these Points up. That'll do it for round five. Bonzo, appreciate you for hopping on the call. Thank you, anytime. For Bonzo, I'm Cam Cohen. We'll see you at the finale.